guys? Welcome to another Talking Bull podcast. I'm Anthony. This is Nick. We are here to bring you your weekly nerd news and talk some bull. Not a lot of nerd news this week. Kind of just little trickle effects of things. And I tried to leave some, I tried to leave the gaming news out just because we did talk about it so much the last like two podcasts. Yeah. A little bit so I'm like, ah, what can I find? What can I find? Not much. Not much. But we did get. Uh, so there was a new Spider-Man uh, suit trailer that I'm just like, I'm not watching this for, for Far From Home. For, uh, there was a suit trailer? Yeah. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah, it just was showing off like the suits. And I'm like, we've seen them. I don't yeah. care. It's not Did you see that poster that came out the next one? Yeah, people were mad because it was just generic as fuck. I liked it. I liked that it was just basic. I don't really, yeah. Like, yeah. I, didn't, I, didn't I hate like it. it. I've seen worse. I've seen worse. But the spider ones aren't the greatest. They had a lot of, I remember a lot of issues coming out with Homecoming too. It, it only has one, and that's with him lying down there. Well, there were a lot, but I think that's the only no, one. No, the remember. good one. Yeah, that's the only good one. Yeah. Like, yeah. And, but, but I do I remember, remember a lot of comments but, then, too. Was but, like, what can you do other than just have Spider-Man in the suit on, on a screen? Well, like, it, it seems there are other movies, is, yeah, you know, guess. make posters look cool. It just it seems like whoever they're, like, I don't know, art, not marketing art. Guy, marketing guy, and stuff like that. Yeah. The they make for these two movies. They're just generic. Like even when I was trying to find like a Baby. thumbnail when we were talking about Spider Man, I couldn't find anything decent. Like there's this mask with like stickers and shit all over it, but oh, it's just I like hate that one. yeah, it's just like oh, they're they're yeah. they're they suck and they're generic. Mm-hmm. Um, staying on the Marvel train here, uh, Kevin Foggy, 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 whatever the fuck his name is. I don't know. I don't know. It, his name doesn't look how it sounds. Anyways. Um, he said that a Venom uh, Spider-Man crossover is likely, but it's up to Sony. And I'm like, Sony is probably still real desperate. They'll do it. They'll do it. They'll cross Spider-Man with anything. They'll, you're going to see Spider-Man and uh, shit. Men in Black. Yeah. Whoa. Fuck. Let's. <laughs> that might be ben, that might be the next one because from what I heard about international, I, not good. I've heard things where like they just tried to make Men in Black one, but with. Uh, in the, in the Helms and uh, what's her name, Tessa. Tessa. And I'm like, and, but I like all the reviews I've seen or people talking about is like they're great. They're just in a bad movie. Yeah, I heard. And I'm like, it makes sense because those two like they're very charismatic, funny, and like well acted people. But like, yeah, I guess I guess it's just they yeah, tried to make Man of Black one and it just falls flat on his face. And like you can see that because one, it didn't look that good when we seen it. We I didn't see a lot of it, and go. there was not. I, I its see, marketing budget is probably not I that big. Didn't know that the movie yeah. came out. If you, like, oh this, oh this came out. Look at the cool. marketing for Men in Black One and Two, and even to an extent Three. It was everywhere. Yeah, this you one, barely see. Was it was out. kind of a blip on the radar, mm-hmm. and it shows. Mm-hmm. Like back to back weekends of just Phoenix wow. and Men in Black, and they just tanked. Mm-hmm. And like I guess Phoenix, Phoenix is going to lose like. Yeah, it, it, like it, and it's not going to help it. I like you don't normally it, see a movie. Be, it's going to be out in a couple more, like oh, yeah. another week, maybe two, and then it's, it's you don't normally see a movie tank so bad that it's going to lose screens, and yeah. it's losing so screens fast. because Toy Story is going to take them. Yeah, because it's predicted to make like a lot of money this weekend. Yeah, dollars. and I, it's, I think it's at ninety nine. Brought ninety eight now. There was four reviews that knocked it, and like four. I four. seen the. Four. I or saw the four people. and they they're like no one you've ever heard of, but they are the ones who get to decide it's ultimate over rating. Yeah. And I'm like, you guys suck. You, you guys <laughs> suck. Because this clearly the, perfect hundred. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part is, I don't know why I threw my voice out. I think it's very yelling about that fucking debate about something so goddamn What's stupid. <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. But um yeah, like and the worst part is those four people, there's going to be like a bunch of people who agree like their opinion's the right one as opposed to the 98% people who mm-hmm. are like, clearly someone is an idiot. <laughs> and it's the four writers who wrote that. It's just It's just funny. Like when you see scores like that and it's like, or when like the credit score is like 26, but the fan one is like 73. I look at it, yeah. Sometimes I, I often look at the double scores, like the C. Yeah. A lot of times it's like if I I, I look at it, if you're within five, yeah, 
It, I, I'm okay. Usually like, there's I'm like a 26 to like 32 ratio yeah. when it's like that. Yeah. Or like if it's like 80, 85, 72, yeah. 68, you know, shit yeah. like that. I'm like, okay, you guys, that's, that's pretty like agreed yeah. upon. Audience and critics agree. It sucks. You know? yeah, or good. <laughs> or yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, then there are the ones that are like fucking 23 on for critics and yeah, 82. You see this a lot with like bad but semi decent good like action or comedy movies Mm -hmm. where like the critics rip them apart and they hate them, but the audience just love them. I don't know, like, why can't we find decent reviewers for comedy movies? Why do they give it to like Roger Ebert? And shit like that. Like those two, like those guys, when they were doing it, they, yeah. they usually did pretty good with comedies. Mm-hmm. Like they like most big comedies. Mm-hmm. But like some random dude from like the New York Times who's like, I hate comedy. Why is he doing it? Why, is he reviewing Why the isn't there a guy who can do a decent review of a comic or not a comic, a comedy. fucking comedy? Yeah. I'm like, you're trying to get these guys to like the movie. And if they well, don't no, like the just, movie. That's, no, they're, they're not getting like the idea. No, that's not what I mean. Like the newspaper it. doesn't want you to like the movie. They don't give a fuck if you like the movie. Yeah. They just want that name recognition of that famous film critic. But when you want to be the guy who likes, when you want to be the guy, he's like, oh, he likes comedies. Like he, we know this guy. Mm-hmm. We can trust his opinion. Mm-hmm. As opposed to like Joe Schmo, who writes every bad comedy review. He's like, I don't trust him, so I'm never gonna read his review mm-hmm. because I know immediately he's gonna hate he it. And there's personalities all over the place. Yeah. Where it's like, you know what they like, and you like their, you can trust the reviews. And you, you know what they like. And yeah. You can't come up with your own opinion. You only like what they like. Exactly. I mean, form your own, but like IGN, I used to go to for the game reviews because so, back in the day, like five, six years ago, they were pretty spot on. Mm-hmm. Now they're awful. And God, do not ever go off their movie views. <laughs> they, I don't know who is in charge of their movie shit, but clearly they don't like film, like at all. At all, they're like, why don't we go to more plays? <laughs> yeah, like the one, they like they bash the original Spider Man, like uh, Amazing Spider Man, for not making up jokes or making jokes in serious situations for Spider Man, Amazing Spider Man Two. Yeah, I'm like, do you know your source right there? Like fucking idiot, <laughs> dumbasses. People are dumb. Uh, speaking of not dumb people, Marvel Studios has confirmed they have had talks with Keanu Reeves and want to find the right hero for him to play. Because Do you think he plays a hero or a villain? Or a villain? I don't think he'll play a villain. I don't know. I don't think, I don't think Honestly, there's many Marvel heroes he could play. I don't think there's many Marvel, Marvel heroes he could play. And I don't know if like he is... Yeah, he has weight to now and stuff. Yeah. But I don't know if he's like, yeah, I'll do seven movies. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I don't think he's, like, that's not where he's at in his, in his, in his he's not, he's not doing Matrix to make money now. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And he gave all that money away anyway. Yeah. yeah. So, like, do you think he's doing fucking six movies? And doing nah, I can't, I, don't, I, don't I can't see, see him. I can't see him doing it, but. He likes to do, like, like, he likes to do movies like John Wick 1. Yeah. Where it was going to be for, Ten million dollars, and if eight people see it, great. You know, like he didn't make even John Wick with the intention of doing. Yeah. Two he just three. wants to do. He wants to make, he wants to make movies, good style movies. movies Friday, yeah, low budget. You know, low risk. Whatever. You know, yeah. like just make film and work with people he wants to work with. Whatever. Yeah, because at this point in his career, he doesn't have to. Yeah. Like, well, I just don't know if he would do like a hero because a hero yeah. sounds like a mo- that's why I'm thinking like a villain. Yeah. Where it's one and done. One and, and, villains are one and done. Yeah. Right? Comic book movies have a real problem with that. It's and it's weird because like comics are the one medium where your villain constantly comes back. Yeah, it's what keeps the story going. <laughs> if Batman beat everyone and arrested them, and then they all stayed in prison, he would only work like he would have only worked like six months. Much like the Nolan movies. Yeah, he was only seven year gap, and then came back for three weeks, his and girl, then died. His not girlfriend died, so he couldn't be Batman. Anymore. Yeah, for seven Wait, fucking years. Shit all over your parents' Fuck legacy. You. You oh, fool. you stupid moron. <laughs> That fucking oh man, the timeline we've talked about the timeline. I'm telling you, he's Batman for about four months. Just side tangent. How again? We've talked about this. That movie is fucking awful. I wouldn't say awful. No, it is a bad movie and it is a bad comic book. It is both. I would say bad. I wouldn't say awful. I'd say awful. It's not good. 
I, there, there are moments though, like that, that get me, that get me, you know, like the parts when he's in the cave, like in the pit. Yeah. And, you know, he's trying to find his way up and that jump scene, you so know, basically like, the, 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 the point, those 90 seconds, they want you to feel that. Yeah. They, they got it got me. It worked. Garbage around it <laughs> where you're like, um, this movie sucks. Like, yeah. it, like, this is a fucking character. The parts where he's in the There's cave with Bruce. Batman, I mean, the, uh, not with Bruce, with Alfred. And the first thing he does when he becomes Batman is fucking burns his logo into the side of a bridge. I know. If the entire city is under siege, people are dying. Well, they, the movie got too big. Gotham looks like it just snowed, but everyone's having a great time. It's cool. It's spring. <laughs> it's spring. And like the bad guys took over, but like the city looks like it did the, the two weeks ago. Even though it's been six months. Yeah. The, the government was no just like the right. government was just like that's cool yeah I mean, we're done you have it and batman's just like i'm back like how'd you get in the city I'm Batman. <laughs> how did you get here and how did no one notice you spraying gasoline everywhere <laughs> on the top of that bridge <laughs> he's just in his bat suit he's just like i know it's gonna look so dope in fire <laughs> fucking one of bane's heads will walk by are you batman no painter <laughs> <laughs> he's got like a it's like oh batman so he's just wearing a painter's hat, <laughs> <It's> a painter's <laughs> hat. and a fucking apron that says i'm not batman i'm a painter <laughs> i've already fixed that movie and then and then robin maybe it is awful <laughs> why don't you use your real you name robin. What you, what, we're all you. in suspense we're like is it Dick Grayson? Is it like Damien? Like Richard, Richard or fucking uh, What's it? It's Blake? John what? Blake. Yeah. It, it sounds like a fake name. We're yeah. like, okay, it's gotta be an alias because like he, you know, he grew up in an orphanage and changed yeah. his name or he got adopted and changed yeah. it or what. Like Tim Drake. Yeah. No, his name is fucking Robin. Robin. Are you serious? But that scene where he jumps in the cave, you're like, whoa! No, that scene doesn't. <laughs> no, that scene is very fuck. No, 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 no. No. When, he, when he's escaping the pit, not the cave scene. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah. Oh, I was like, gonna yeah. say the, really the only scene that gets me is the part where he's in the, in the pit. <laughs> I mean that part is pretty dope, is but dope. the rest of the movie the around the movie it is complete is dog shit. Like he he hurts his knee and then gets super braces and now he's Batman again. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he and then he tells Alfred to go fucking die, basically. Yeah. Then, Shall I continue? <laughs> no. <laughs> he parks his bat jet on the fucking roof for six and months no and no one notices it. He built this fucking cave underneath Wayne Tower and Bane just knew where it was because he was fucking the other girl. Who knew, knew where it was? Where it was. He's not. This is the world's worst detective. This but is what happens when you're Batman for that. six months. Yeah, exactly. He, he only did it for a short time. He didn't have time to like. Have common sense to not build your base underneath your fucking namesake. Well, I mean, we know he has. I mean, that fight was pretty dope, though. Except it's Bane, so it's like. And you're like, what? What was that? Iron Bane. You're like, Groot? It's so bad. And then you got him going, and the other idiot going, <laughs> but no, but no, but no Batman v Superman is the bad movie. It's the bad movie. At least you can understand Affleck. Affleck was a shit in that movie. I know, Martha and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> fucking God, uh, Rise is a terrible fucking movie. How do you follow Begins? And fucking thing uh, with that. Because he was allowed to do whatever he wanted. No, because Heath Ledger died and they had to change the entire script. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll put some of that, but at the same time, they could have. But then no, why but, did you bring back Two Face? Because he died, but Batman survived the fall because he had padding. And, and Batman killed him. Yeah. And no one ever Yeah. Why did, and, and not, not only did Batman kill him, but he also had to take the blame for the seven cops that Ben killed. And it's like, why? Why, why can't you just say a henchman killed yeah, him or something? Why do you can't just say, like, I fucking, I can't, like, and next morning, Bruce wakes up and reads the paper and says, Batman killed Ben, along with these six cops. And he's like, what the fuck? I didn't agree to that part. I just said, like, I killed Ben because he needs a safe face and, yeah. you know, whatever. And, like, but I didn't kill all these fucking cops. 
but like it's Gordon just throws him under the bus. What? It's like he. It's like, that and then in the movie, he immediately reverses it. That makes Bill Stead six pop. Three pregnant women with a bag of puppies. Children. In a, in a he beat bus. the pregnant women with the puppies while it drove off a cliff. Yeah, like, <laughs> with Harvey strapped to the back. Dragging him behind him. But like, he's like, what the fuck? I didn't agree to all that. He's like, why is he taking the blame? Because he's the hero we need, not the so hero we deserve. I'm going to blame him for everything. And for seven years, I'm going to be like, it's cool. And then immediately, and then, start to feel bad. <laughs> and then immediately when it goes to shit, I'm gonna be like, we need Batman. Mm-hmm. He's, you know, he's sad. His girlfriend died, but it wasn't his girlfriend. Yeah. And she chose Bill. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So he kicks the, the yeah. old man out. Because Two Face knew, or because Joker was like, ah, you're gonna go save her. <laughs> I'm gonna switch him. Yeah. Because no. you know, smart villain. Yeah, smart villain. And then he kicks the old man out of the house. Yeah, because he's a dick. Mm-hmm. The one time I'm like, don't be rude to Alfred. I spent the entire fucking Arkham game yelling at Alfred. <laughs> Stop using my fucking name, man! We're in the open! <laughs> mm. like, one front try. That's an in-joke I'm not explaining. But if you write in the comics what the in-joke is, I will tell you. That's how it will be for a comic. All one of them. Uh, she's doing that. He's doing this. Uh, Marvel shit. I somehow started like at the bottom of the fucking thing. Oh, Tom Hardy's confirmed to be back as uh, 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 Venom. Cool. I didn't. I didn't question that he wasn't. I didn't either, but it's good they confirmed him because now um, you won't have someone else playing him in a different movie, which I, I'm a kind of okay with. Uh, J.J. Abrams is going to be writing along with his son a. Um, I think it's a five part miniseries. Um, <laughs> I didn't read Blue Chips the other day just so I could save all my reads yeah. uh, to remind me <laughs> because I want to check it out. Yeah, it's um, I don't know why. It, yeah, it's a five part mini series written by him and his son. Uh, cool. Uh, there was a lot of like fucking, this is what we were yelling about earlier, just getting into the semantics of his I son really, writing. Okay, so scroll up. Yeah. I hadn't seen this picture. And realize that his son was 12 years old. Yeah, I didn't realize that either. Um, that changes my opinion yeah. a tad. Well, also, um, <laughs> I, I didn't realize his son was the guy, uh, Rick Moranis. <laughs> <laughs> they should cast him in the Ghostbusters as the son of uh, Rick Moranis' character. Yeah, as Tully. <laughs> He has the same mouth structure, right? He's got the same eyes, too, yeah. and his eyebrow expression mm-hmm. in this. Yeah, his kid is fucking 12. Yeah. There's no way his kid's 12. No, he's not 12, but he definitely looks young. Okay, uh, what's his name? Pretend. Yeah, I wanted, like, I don't want to type. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, it's going to be due, uh, debut in December. Uh, feature artist Sarah Pacharelli. I don't know her stuff. Maybe. I don't know what she does. Um, uh, they're gonna have a brand new villain, Cadaverius. That's cool. Um, and it will cause problems not only for Spider Man and his alter ego Peter Parker, but also Mary Jane Watson. Um, yeah, her kid. Or or Cadaverius. Holy love song is between Cadaverius and Mary Jane. He's a boss. Yeah. And here, you stop listening. <laughs> yeah, I, I, and here's the cover she wants. Cool picture. Yeah, I, I do like it. And she's again posed weirdly, like he's doing Spider Man things. I don't like the skinny Spider Man. I I've never been a fan of how he looks when he's like that. Mm-hmm. But like she's awkward, and it looks way too muscular. She's uh, she hits the gym. Yeah. Who's hardcore? Uh, but people thought I, I thought this too. They teased out a four, and a lot of people thought that they were teasing like it was going to be Sam Raimi's sequel to Spider Man, but in comic book form. That would be awesome. And I'm like, that I would. Wish they did stuff like that. yeah. I did. Very rarely do they do things like yeah. that, and I kind of wish they would. Yeah. More I often. Wish they did stuff like that. Or remember that time back when you did like not against DC animation because DC animation was doing things, but. 
Remember they were supposed to like do, there was talk of them turning some of the unused scripts to different movies that they just went from 10 years ago, like they're never going to make these. Into anime, uh, yeah. Anime, I wish they would. And yeah, that would, that would be awesome. Just we'll see. I, I would like it. I'm, I'm down for that. I, I wish they would take more of the scripts that like, cause they get like thousands and thousands of scripts uh, to make stories and then don't do anything with them. If you've already paid these. Who is 20? So his son is 20. Okay. So he's basically Maybe 12. He's basically 12. Here's this is an old photo. It's the video that they're announcing it. Wow. All his genes went to filmmaking. That's why his son looks 12. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, moving on. <laughs> His kid does look well. Does it? Does the fact that he's twenty change your No. Oh. Makes sense. Um, speaking of nothing, I did not decide where though. Uh, Avengers is going back to theaters, even though it's still in its. But it's going back to number one uh, because they were are re-releasing it with. Uh, deleted scene. Yes, I said scene. And <coughs> so, so it's just one scene. As far as I know, it's scene. People keep saying like scenes, but as far as I know, it's only scene. New footage. So scene. Uh, film was lost in gaining momentum by now, blah, 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 blah. Extra scenes that weren't included in the first one. Probably like eight minutes of fucking footage. It's probably nothing. Yeah, it's going to be like random extra talk like Yeah. The... But you know what? This will put it over the thing and it'll become number one. So... I want it to be number one. I want it to be number one, but I would have liked it if it did it on its own merit with all this. Oh yeah, this is one hundred percent a gimmick. I, I I'll give you that. Um, and it's going one to. Season. I'm not protesting. Fucking gimmicks sell things. Because we let them. Three D is a gimmick, and we still VR is a well. I don't know if VR is a gimmick. I I really can't say anything because how many special editions have we bought? Don't go see the movie again. Oh, I won't. Yeah, I won't. I've already seen it three times. Yeah, I won't go back again. I'm gonna see it again. I'll wait for this fucking shit to come out on DVD, and then I'll have all the scenes I missed, which will probably be nothing. Well, read about it after it's released, <laughs> and I'll read about the five seconds of dialogue that was said between Tony and his dad, and I'm like, oh, okay, he actually has the time to do it. <laughs> it turns out there's a whole other character that got from this movie and has the scenes. Well, I, well, I'd be like, actually, fuck you! <laughs> no, there's there's no, I, as far as I know, there's nothing in there, but... Was, <laughs> not, that that, not that that would be what they put in, but I, now I'm having a flashback. There's to that like, one with the, the future. Movie. Yeah, the his daughter, he sees his daughter in the future as what's-her-face yeah. from that show. Yeah. Yeah. But it didn't test well, though, so they cut it. I don't think, they won't put that back in. They no, they they'll, just, they'll just use. They'll I bet you it's just bullet. more like character fight stuff. I can give two shits about people actually punch them. Though. But not, no, not punching, but like more interaction between certain heroes that we didn't necessarily see in the movie, which I kind of would like more stuff with Cap and Bucky kind of in that fight, yeah. or him and Falcon like trading one liners or like a little line here and there because there wasn't much. Or Spy or like Strange and uh, Stark yeah, trading some one liners or. Yeah. Parker with the with strange kind of thing. Or even more just of strange. Black Panther. No, there was a very little of the, the, the new Avengers, yeah. as it's so put. I, I hope they put more emphasis on those guys, especially since they're going to be carrying the, the entire, you know, thing going forward. Uh you can rent Tony Stark's cabin from uh and Avengers Endgame uh as an Airbnb. Kind of cool. Um I'm it's sure a bunch of people room. are going to do it. With a non-negotiable minimum third night stay or three night stay, that's actually not that bad. It's Does it say? I'm looking. Oh. Yeah, 
Looks nice. Yeah. Oh, can house up to six people. Oh, three bedrooms, four, uh, four, or three, what? Four bedrooms, three bedrooms. But it says the film will be four beds, so, four yeah. beds, three bedrooms, four beds, three bathrooms. Okay. That's, that's not, that's actually not that bad. That's, that's, yeah. And you're, you're not even that far from Atlanta. Go there, stay at the cabin, visit Atlanta. Why you'd want to. You could go to the Kachim of Chu River. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought it was cool. It's kind of neat. It's one of those things, like, usually with stuff like that, they build, like, sets and shit. But to actually be able to go visit a location is kind of cool. Uh, DC is shutting down Vertigo comic imprint. They are shutting it down because they are going to streamline all their books under three, um, like categories. categories. Um, so they're going to have DC zoom and DC ink one category, which is their, um, younger viewer ones. Uh, then they are going to have the normal DC one, obviously. And then DC Black Label, which would be the 17 and up range, which would be most Vertigo books, mm -hmm. as well as any darker uh, story that they sure. post. Yes. Isn't that? No, that's independent. They they work out stuff. Yeah. You know, kind of like uh, they do with Boom. Mm -hmm. I think it's Boom. But yeah, I think they're, as far as I know, they're independent. Uh, they had their 25th anniversary last year. And now they're just folding it under one thing. It kind of sucks that they are closing it because, like, people do know um, that name. Yeah, Vertigo, yeah. I always thought it was his own publication. I didn't know it was a DC thing, so it really doesn't mean all that much to me. But it makes sense to want to streamline all your content under different categories so you know what it is. But also put your name on that category. Exactly. Black, Ex exactly. Like DC is DC Kids. Yeah. So now you know it's all DC. Exactly, which makes sense. Or I don't know what you could have just called it DC Vertigo and still had the fucking yeah uh, eighteen yeah. stuff under there. But I guess Black Label sounds more like what do you? Yeah, exactly. It has a name distinction. Black to label it. Triple yeah, exactly. Triple so um, Knights, Marvel Knights line. Like if you were reading a Marvel Knight book, you knew what you were getting into, and that was cool. And uh, the shows were starting to like they were under that. They had the Marvel Knights branding on them. Yeah. I'm like, that's cool. You should do more of that shit. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Uh, I thought I had something else from DC. About it. Oh, yeah. The uh, the Birds of Prey teaser uh, poster uh, from Cine Europe. Um, I like the Birds of Prey part with the kind of like... I didn't know arrows the arrow. and the like the logos yeah. and the knife yeah. kind of in it and uh there's a i think a bow here it might yeah, be a mustache yeah and then like the the kind of the hunting like car yeah <clears throat> there's a jewel and a hammer and then of course the fucking rest of the title which i didn't know until you told me what last week week before weeks, birds yeah. of prey and the fabulous emancipation of one harley quinn that's a terrible fucking movie title I guess they want to know we get it you could have just called it Birds of Prey. It won't be Batman. Batman, we swear this guy we cast as the Batman is not the same actor you think he was in Twilight. In He's Twilight, actually really good he now. <laughs> <laughs> and not Superman, because you know how much you don't like when those two are together, even though you've asked for it for years. Yeah. And we won't admit to having got rid of Cowboy uh, also. Yeah. That's a long title. Yeah, well. That's why, uh, uh, P.S., that's why at the end of Sedan, you only see him from the neck down. <laughs> <laughs> With, as, just as the screen goes black, uh, you see him from the off world. That's pretty much what they do. So, whenever that the. so fucking mad. Whenever, I watched, yeah. Like, when I watched that movie. You were, you were, was you were pissed. pissed. You were pissed I at knew, that scene. I, like, I, whatever I read it. Yeah. I knew. But I was still so fucking mad that that's how it was. Like, don't even put that in there. That's a fucking week and a half. But it's painful. You might as well just hit me in the face with a fucking dick. Yeah. You stupid cowboy. <laughs> I get it. Cavill was dope as Superman. I wish he was still Superman. I think they'll work something out. Um, I think he's the only actor who still wants to kind of do it, other than the ones they already still have doing it. 
but I, I do too. I do, but... hope, I do hope. Um, uh, fuck, what is his name? Uh, yeah, Robert Pattinson. I hope he's good as Batman because I would really like to, to see the Justice League again. And if he's a good that, I would love to see the Cavill back as Batman. Uh, uh, Gal Gadot is still awesome as Wonder Woman. Uh, Aquaman Momo is dope. And Shazam with uh, Levy is amazing. If they can get all those people and he's a good Batman, even if you have to find a new Superman and he like pulls it off, I, I would really like to see that. Find me a Green Lantern, please. I think we're, I think we're so far away from a, from a next. Fucking, but here's the thing: I'm just gonna, I'm, we're so far away from the next Superman, though. I yeah. mean, a next Justice League that it's not gonna be these guys. No, definitely it's, not. That's the problem. It's not gonna be Robert. It's not. Gonna it be might Robert. be Robert because he's still kind of youngish that they could lock. They him in. they want the three movie fucking trilogy movies. They're going back to 1998 where but it's all trilogies. Still, they could still work him out, but the other ones maybe not. Momoa would have aged Nash out and, and and Levy. But you could still get one with Pattinson, I think, and then just work around whatever you're going to do with that. But but they tried to you, anchor it around Batman the last time and it didn't work well. Batman wasn't the problem; it was Snyder. Yeah. Um, I I want them to try Green Lantern again. It's been enough time. Oh yeah, they should be able to do Green Lantern. Well, going on with going next with Green Lantern, let's move to next story. Fine, Uh, an okay shitty poster with a horrible title. Next story, Bad Robot. Right. Yeah. Uh, Moves to Warner Brothers. JJ Abrams. Million dollar deal or whatever the fuck it or five hundred million dollar partnership. Partnership with Bad with Warner Brothers. And it was a big. It's a big deal. It's a big big story. It's a big score for Warner Brothers. They they fucking needed that. And they already started moving over. Um, different properties different movies that were going to be greenlit under Paramount yeah so now so, they're going to be but under what I was getting to is do you do you give the do you yes, give you the keys to Abrams first of all I was going to do Superman Flyby yeah. which if I'm not mistaken was to star Cavill yeah. when he was doing it his, his Superman was Cavill do it because he was like I don't want to say I, I don't know if he was fully ca- right. it, you know yeah. before Brandon like before Superman was started it was Cavill and <laughs> it was for uh, JJ's movie when he was I yeah. mean he brought back Star, Star Trek, Trek in a big way yeah he brought back <laughs> Star Wars in a he, massive he brought, way. I say I say he brought back uh, Mission Impossible with Mission he Impossible also, Three. He also brought back Mission Impossible. Mission, Bo- Mission Impossible One was okay. Yeah. Two. No, one's go- amazing. Well, well I'll, just, I'll say one was okay for the time and so oh, yeah, okay, you know okay, it was okay. Yeah. You know it was good. It was two's, okay. Two's, two is fucking goddamn garbage. Let's face it. There's like five of these and you don't count two. Yeah. <laughs> two was goddamn garbage. And then he does three. Three, four, five, six are all great. Yeah. And he's had his hand in at least some of it. Yeah. And I think he produced the rest of them. He I think that. Yeah. You 100%, I believe, I other. The keys to that Walter something. Yeah. He did all the horror movies for New Line. 100%, but you brought this guy over to do something with DC. You don't sign this you deal know, and not, and not and have and him not go. Be Warner Brothers, not be 2019 with comic book movies the way they are, and not be like, okay, what are you going to do for this? Or like, get, like, even if they just use him as like, hey, what would you do? Yeah, like, you got to help us. Yeah. We, you, we're not what sure what to do, even though we have 85 years of comics we could pull from. We have. 300 animated series that are way better animated movies that are killing it. Please help us fix our live action. We can't seem to fucking figure out. How are they fucking up origin movies? He's doing episode. He did episode seven. He's coming back for episode yeah. nine. So like he's going to give him the keys to the fucking castle. I'm in charge of Warner Brothers. I'm like, fix our DC problem, please. Yeah, we have we have. We have we have Aquaman that works. We have Shazam that works. We have Wonder Woman that works. Please Batman fix Batman, and, Batman and Superman. Well, we have Batman in the pipeline. We have Batman in the pipeline. We think with uh, was it Matt Reeves? Matt Reeves, Matt yeah. Reeves and Pattinson, we can work a Batman out. Please help us fix Superman. Yeah. Get Cavill on the phone. The problem is Let's just lighten him up. Yeah. Make him the truth, justice in the American way, Superman. Just. Take the original Superman movie and update it. Mm-hmm. Don't edge him. No. 
Man of Steel doesn't work as a movie, mostly other than Cavill's performance as Superman and like even his uh, Kevin Costner, right? Yeah. yeah. Kevin Costner works well, as thing. Yeah. And like even the like most of the, the movies surrounding him are just stupid. Yeah. They're too dark and he's edgy and he, he's trying to figure out blah this and blah blah blah. That's and not the top, Superman. On top of the edge. Like I'm okay with the edge of him trying to figure out. But, but they're a little but too then, emo-y. A little too, but and then like the destruction, like what they deem destruction from afterwards. Like yeah. the third act of that movie is just like you can have a fight and not do that and then and make it this seminal seven. plot point to the next three movies. Yeah. <laughs> because like I get what they were trying to do, but well, don't. I think what they were trying to do was correct the mistake that they made with Man of Steel. But you could just have them fight and destroy Metropolis. You didn't have to make it the fucking centerpiece to why Batman hated Superman. But I think that was their their point was like using it as like because they saw the backlash, they wanted to anchor it to you know what I mean? Like yeah. they try to fix it. They again, okay. but they just tried to ground. They tried they tried to make him a relatable hangout Superman and like Man of the people, blah, blah, blah. like he is, but he isn't, and I, they leaned way too much. We'll into see. That. I'm sure nothing. I'm sure nothing will come of it. I have no expectations for for Warner Brothers and DC. With Abrams helming stuff, if he does helm stuff, I I am I have no faith in DC right now, yeah. none whatsoever. No. Uh, like I don't even have faith in Wonder Woman. We saw one poster, and I have very little opinion on it other than its armor. Yeah. Um. No. What I yeah. What I'm saying is like. Until like he, let's say he does start working on it, then I'll. Yeah. Right now, I don't even have. I don't think they if they announce tomorrow no. that it's like DC and JJ Abrams are beginning uh, oh. early such development of Superman next Superman movie. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I have faith in you, but my faith is so low in Warner Brothers. I don't think they have the idea to even ask him. That's where I'm at. Yeah. Like they have fucked me for like so long for like six or seven years that I don't believe that they have, they they haven't even thought they haven't seen the connection. Like, Oh, Abrams did mission impossible, star Trek and star Wars. Like, I don't even think they've realized that they're like, yeah, they're, like they're, they're oblivious to the to mention <laughs> his TV credits yeah. and what he produces on there and brings to the table. Like, I don't think they thought about who he is yet. Like, and what he they were do. just like, they saw his name and they're like, they just saw like, oh, something's for sale. We it's it's like when we play <laughs> NHL, we just see the big name player and we're like, that guy's good. <laughs> yeah, off, they just saw something for sale like in Kijiji. Yeah. Like, oh, this, this, this production studio's for sale. We should buy it. And not know like what they were purchasing. And Speaking of DC and their inability to do things. Um, I'm pissed that... So do you have the full list? Like scroll down a little bit more. Be, yeah, yeah, right okay. here. So um the the CW announced its fall premiere schedule dates for all of its DC shows, or as basically they call it the DC network. Mm-hmm. So on October 6th, we've got um Batwoman and Supergirl. Uh which they're in the same universe, right? No. Batwoman is in our universe and is with the Arrow. flash and error. Okay. Yeah. Um, all American. I don't know what that is. No. Nope. Uh, then Tuesday is the flash. Why isn't fucking. Why doesn't arrow premiere? Arrow premieres the following week. The three, the three shows all premiere that first week. And I wonder if it has to do with not lining up with enough episodes to get it to the. Me. Cause Me. it would yeah, be. So- they're only do, they're only doing eight, right? Or is it ten? Whatever. But maybe ten would be its last so they, one. But all then, these guys get one ahead of them before they're ten, I, when they all team up. Like maybe. Uh, I just it, I, I saw. I was like, why do I gotta wait? They they do that all the time with shit. I don't know why they do it. Maybe something else is on that's big that week, and they don't want to trounce their thing. Yeah, CW is worried about competition from real oh. networks. Uh, <laughs> everything, every, this, everything on other networks is better than this. And they're like, oh, we won't put it on because you know NBC has cause, other shows. Because Lightning doesn't premiere the same week either. Wow, I didn't watch that. <laughs> I don't either, but still, like it's the same thing, right? It's on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we got Wednesday. We got Riverdale and Nancy Drew. Um. Cool. Then we got Supernatural and Legacies. Um, I really have to go watch Supernatural before October 10th. Uh, we got Charmed and Dynasty, which, man, 
I want to go I watch more Dynasty. And I still want to watch so much more. That first episode is amazing. Uh, uh, the Flash the and then Arrow on the 15th is its premiere for Arrow. And then Black Lightning premieres on October 21st. Um, I'm just like, I'm looking forward to next May where I can be like, it was a good run. I meant to ask you, did you go watch uh, Supergirl? Oh, good. Well, I thought you said you were gonna watch it based on what I told you, dude. I'm telling you, man, it was so good. I was no, nah, I won't. I'm I'm looking so forward to next May where I can shut off that CW show and everything like that. Why can't I see this bullshit? Okay, fine, highlight it. <laughs> I think I think because I'm on this, it won't allow me to like search it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll delete it. <laughs> Just deletes every version of All American <laughs> off of this thing. I just wanted to see if I could fucking. And go to the actual Oh, yeah, I could do that. Yeah. I just want to see what the show is. It said Dream Big as I was good to tweet. So I was, I was curious to see what it is. I do like this poster of like Flash and Arrow, and uh, I do like that suit in the thing, though. It looks dope. And they're all looking at something, right? But clearly they're not looking at, at the, the bat logo. Well, they're also not looking at the same thing. Because they're all, they're all looking at different No, because all these eyes are going this way. Yeah. And hers are up here. So they're kind of and meeting up Barry's there. And Barry, <laughs> well, Barry's always off in his own little world. I feel about this child play movie. I guess it's doing all right, uh, critic-wise. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's I don't like the fact that there's like the ongoing series of the original one, like as the TV show, right? We were talking about that. Yeah. But then there's a reboot at the same time. Like that's, oh, it's a football show. <laughs> oh, well then, good for it. He transferred from Beverly Hills to play football, but he's played quarterback, but also covers as a kickoff returner. And a running back. Dude, you're doing too many jobs. Yeah. Pick one. And a linebacker coach. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you know you're big. Oh, I like I like when they actually cast football people to play. Uh, I don't Not know. as your main character. Yeah, no, but... I don't want to watch this show starring Tom Brady. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> Not where he's acting, though, it's someone else. <laughs> <laughs> but like, like so like I, I i read i heard the, the thing about friday night lights i found out is like they actually had football players playing football in the football scenes mm -hmm. and i'm like that makes sense yeah i'm okay. yeah i get that yeah um yeah speaking of tv shows we got a new trailer for stranger things um how are you feeling on this show season three uh, it comes out what next week uh, uh, yeah something like that uh, I mean, I watched it. I I like the trailer. It seems... I didn't watch the trailer. I I think the, I think I watched one trailler like <laughs> their first one. Like sometime. this was the final one, and I kind of wanted to see where they were at, like with it wise. And we just kind of see like more. It, it's hinting at more evilness coming. But like you know how they got rid of the evil in the last one. Mm -hmm. Maybe it went to the new person, and it's kind of hinting at um like that that one girl's brother may be taken over. As like the big bad now. Can't see there it is. So like she says she's closed the gap, but like maybe she fucked up. Because like you see his little neck there, they talk about it. He's like, what if they didn't come through? And it's like, oh okay, you see these rats going towards rats this. Towards yeah. Well, no, they go to then it cuts to the darkness here, but then it cuts to her brother. So maybe he's been taken over and now he's the host for the darkness. Yeah, joy. And then it's kind of like the government's coming in to look at stuff, and then just more scenes of like the world's getting that bigger. Person? The uh, the sheriff? No, yeah, he's got a mustache. And then just no, yeah, that was the sheriff. Was yeah, and then just like yeah, the the darkness is coming. This is and then they're they're like oh we're gonna fight back blah blah blah. And then there's this great scene coming up where like he senses it, they sense it. Uh, they're they're prepared to fight, right? But they're like twelve, so they're fucked. And everything goes dark. 
and then they're all hiding and they're all terrified. And you you can hear the footsteps and like something growling in the background. And then uh, that one, uh, I fucking forget his name, the kid with the missing teeth mm-hmm. is going to be like, Code Red, we got a Code Red, they're here, they're here. And then you're going to see that. And then the music plays for the thing, which like great music, by the way, for that. And it says Stranger Things 3. I actually like this trailer a lot because it kind of hits more at what what's the big bad is and like how they're, they're building towards their epic conclusion of this. Is this the final season? Oh, God, no. I just met their epic season of three. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I liked it and it hinted more at what what's going on rather than just them like having summer. Mm-hmm. But it is cool. It takes place during the summer as opposed to the last one, which is like winter and shit. And then speaking of Netflix, a uh, religious group with uh, a shit ton of Christians who are always mad at everything except for the things they should be mad at are petitioning um, Netflix to uh, stop making Good Omens, a show with religious undertones, which stars David Tannett, which show that apparently is really, really good and I want to watch. Um, and Netflix responded with, sure, we'll stop making this uh, because we don't. <laughs> because it turns out it's a show on Amazon Prime. So 20,000 idiots who are complaining about something aren't even complaining about the right goddamn no, thing because they're idiots. And like, oh man, I saw something the other day. It's that same fucking like, parent council group that the ptg or whatever it is that are always mad at everything they were bitching about other shit that they wanted to cancel and i'm like give it up tv gets made like go be mad at priests or go be mad at your fucking dude who keeps saying that fucking uh homosexuality is a sin because you have nothing better to complain about yeah, they were like okay we promise not to make any more yeah we won't make any more Amazon does <laughs> You might want to, we'll forward this e- email to them. Yeah. <laughs> and like Neil Gaiman is the uh, co author and the showrunner. So, like, dope. I'm like, that's two kind of religious shows I have to watch based on Good Omens and um, I really want to watch that other one. Oh, God. Fucking hell. I can see the, pr- it's, it, I can see the fucking thing in my brain, but I can't think of, uh, Gods of something. Oh, um. <sighs> Fuck, what is it? It's where the old gods have to fight the new gods. Yeah. And it looks really dope because they go to like the new world mm-hmm. and the old gods, like there's new gods, but they're like technology and shit like that. And I'm like, and all these pra- kids are praising like their phone and not them kind of thing. And I'm like, oh, that's fucking, that sounds amazing. And it, it, I think it's doing its final season. So, like, I'm like, that's awesome. It's three seasons of things I can just watch mm-hmm. and not have to worry about, like, 15 seasons of it. But I can't fucking remember what it is. Gods of something. The only thing I put in, in my mind is, like, Gods of Egypt. <laughs> is it an Amazon Prime show? It's going to bother me. Just look it up while we talk about something else. Um... There's this cool fucking Ghostbusters Optimus Prime coming out for San Diego Comic-Con. That looks dope. That I kind of really, really want. I figured it would just be right here. I thought it was Amazon Prime show. I didn't think it was. Man, they make a lot of shows. Oops. Maybe it's not an Amazon Prime show. I thought it was. What's the other big one? HBO, Hulu. Or not, but it's, I know it's not a Netflix yeah, show. Yeah, it might be a Hulu show. But um, yeah, this thing looks like it, it's got like it's Optimus Prime, but it's also like Ghostbusters encoded. Yeah, it has like a Ghostbusters. Like, yeah. like a skin on it, and it looks like it's kind of trying to be the Echo One of like, but a truck. It's just really dope.
like gods and monsters i'm like no that's that terrible fucking batman movie yeah that's because it was what's his face losing his mind oh, there it is so right now it's comic-con exclusive so i'm hoping it just goes to um like entertainment earth afterwards but it looks dope he's got his trailer it pulls out and he's got ghostbusters like trailer. yeah i like that it looks like optimus prime but it says echo one in his chest cavity mm -hmm. but also it has like the autobot and the trans or the transformers the cool, ghostbusters thing and like it's he's echo 35 technically mm -hmm. and then the packaging is a proton pack it's pretty badass yeah it's pretty dope i rather like it it says you know, slime yeah the and then there's slime on the side of the truck but optimus is white and red kind of like echo one it just looks fucking amazing oh ectotron was the uh, action figure i was saying earlier where they announced that we talked about this guy before where it's the Echo One that transforms into the Transformer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that one's cool, but yeah. the not as cool as Optimus Prime. As cool as Prime. Ghostbuster, yeah. Sorry, dude. And then speaking of Ghostbusters, there's just more and more rumors and kind of confirmed and half rumors that like the original cast has read the script and maybe in the script or maybe in the movie. Yeah. And I'm like, cool. That's what Ghostbusters 3 should have been all along. Yeah. Not that reboot. That's terrible. Or just not taking so long. Yeah, well, most of that was fucking. I blame half Dan Aykroyd, who couldn't have wrote 37 different Ghostbusters movies, which all sound amazing. And then also Bill Murray. Yeah. Who like he's he's one of those dudes that's like amazing. But at the same time, I just want to punch him in the head for not making the movie I want him to repeatedly. But he probably let me punch him in the head is the worst part. Speaking of things that I finally wanted to see, which is going to sound really weird when I tell you what it is in a second, the Hunger Games prequel movie is in development. Now you're like, oh, why the fuck would they make a prequel to this? And I'm like, good, that's the one fucking thing I wanted from these movies. Why did these people decide this is what they wanted to do to settle their fucking disputes yeah. and their population and problems yeah. and all this How stuff? How did the Earth get where they were like, this idea yeah. of selecting one, one people and one uh, individual to represent us, and then we're going to put them in a dome and, and kill them. How did that come to be the best solution? And everyone was okay yeah, with it. Like, <laughs> we're like, yes, we agree. Or there was a done. problem, but then everyone, like generations, were like, this is what we do. Yeah. It's, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's an interesting idea. This is what I want to know. This is the movie I wanted to see, or a book, or anything. The, the, I, I actually like the Hunger Games one. Yeah, I haven't yeah. watched the last oh. movie or whatever. So I split it and then I forgot to watch it. I think a lot of people did actually. This is what I wanted. Yeah. This I, I've said this from fucking day one. I'm like, cool franchise. Why did we get to this point? Mm -hmm. This is the one time where a Hollywood, I'm like, explain yourselves. Me, yeah, Any other time, I'm like, shut up and just get to the point. Robocop yeah. Of Hunger Games. Yeah. <laughs> let's see the 2014 Robocop of Hunger Games. I want to know how you got to that point. Robocop. 2014 is probably one of my most disappointing movies because I like the original RoboCop. The and like most insular RoboCop stuff is okay. Like the TV show was kind of cool, the Prime Directive one they did in like the 2000s or whatever. But like they had a chance to fix, like just uh, RoboCop was outdated. It looks yeah. bad. Like they could have just made a RoboCop movie and did it. But no, they went out of their way to unnecessarily explain everything. And he wasn't RoboCop until like the last 30 seconds, but it paid him silver or whatever. I don't even give a fuck what color he was. But like, uh, but, but like the whole human aspect, the struggle throughout the whole fucking movie. Yeah. And, and Whereas like in the original like, one, it's kind of hinted at yeah. and a little bit. And then at the end, he kind of overdoes it or whatever. But this like the entire fucking, it's just the underlying drive for yeah. the entire. And I'm like, it's RoboCop, man. Come on. That's kind of like making a Terminator movie and killing John Connor and not have a sky. Oh, man, they're already doing oh, that. They do that. They oh, do no. Yeah. Fate of the Furious. Fucking. Like that. <laughs> Fate of the Furious Terminators. <laughs> too fast, too terminated. <laughs> How? Uh, I just. Do you think the last movie is called Fast and Furious? Like Fast and Furious? We should just call it Please End This. Like yeah. I'm, I'm thinking that would be the last one. Just call it Fast and Loose. Fast and Loose. <laughs> That's how they write the right. script. <laughs> just call it This One Doesn't Have the Rock, but John Cena. 
<laughs> we replace one wrestler with another. You need to notice. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> I I do love that that they just replaced like the old wrestling uh, movie star kind of yeah. with like the new the up and coming superstar who's like a big time wrestler but kind of act now mm-hmm. and I'm like I see what you did there. Well, you couldn't probably get Hulk Hogan. Right. It was probably just, <laughs> it was cheaper. It's the same. It's the same quality. Just but, a cheaper price. <laughs> but if Vin Diesel thinks he can boss John Cena around. I'm guessing that's what he thinks. He's got another thing coming. Just ask Nikki Bella. Because, yeah. <laughs> like, she couldn't even move in that house with signing a fucking document this goddamn big. <laughs> you think you're going to boss John Cena around? Paul, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Uh, the prequel for Game of Thrones has officially begun shooting. And the actress, whose name I can't remember, but is kind of one of those, like, mid-tier upper actresses, She's like, you won't be disappointed. And I'm like, you didn't see season eight. <laughs> Literally, I've been busy uh, getting ready for this, that you didn't watch the last season. <laughs> I, will, I will check this out. I'll check it out. Uh, uh, because like, I have no problem with them like telling stuff way before any of the stuff happens. Because like it has no bearing on any of the stuff we already know. This is like way before that shit. It's kind of like why I like Shadow of Mordor, the game so much. It's not, there's like hints that Lord of the Rings stuff, but like, takes place before Lord of the Rings, and it doesn't mess with continuity in any way, kind of, maybe, I don't know. I'm all right with shit like that. I don't care. How do I even know? Not bad. Well, 56. I got it wrong for two minutes. Yeah. (laughs) So now here's my dilemma. What the hell do I call this? And I need a thumbnail. What's wrong when I don't have a thing to talk about? And we only did uh, the big thing I was going to talk about was Stranger Things, but like we talked about that for like a minute and a half. Yeah. And I don't remember what we talked about at the beginning. I guess I could put JJ Abrams on the thing. Yeah, I'll just put a whole bunch of pictures of Venom, Spider Man, and JJ Abrams, maybe with Batman in the corner going, What's up? Um, put that, put that uh, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> no, what it is Jeffrey. 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 Jeffrey is so, we'll talk most of the time, Jeffrey. Yeah. So Toys R Us is coming back uh to the uh US uh in time for Christmas with fewer than ten stores. Each one will be about a third of the size of traditional Toys R Us. Um the company that bought the remaining Toys R Us uh figured it out. Um oh, that's cool. Shirts out of food carts. <laughs> yeah, they're just looking to like make Toys R Us, but also make an experience when you go to Toys R Us kind of thing. Yeah. I, I do hope they figure it out because I mean, Toys R Us at the point it went under only went under because of bad management. Yeah. Um, oh, they've already got some big... Uh, I, what is this? So I was listening to. I'm not uh, getting into it. Jim Sterling talk about. We didn't talk about fucking EA. Fucking Surprise e- mechanic. Yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> I was, I was. Fucking EA decided they wanted to be douchebags this week and pretend that their their fucking microtransaction bullshit ridden loot crate shit is not loot crate and it's not infringing and it's not gambling and it's not blah 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 because it's surprise mechanics. Fuck you, idiot. It's a goddamn loot box. You've called it a fucking loot box. On your tweet for Jedi Fallen Order and in your press conference for Fallen Order, you legitimately say no microtransactions, no loot boxes. You cannot just fucking change the script when you're on a fucking meeting of commerce in the UK because you're someone's calling you on your shit. Of all companies, you are the worst ones for microtransactions. You ruin fucking Star Wars because of it. I didn't buy two fucking Battlefront games because they are microtransaction written loot box shitholes. The game is nine fucking dollars and I still refuse to pay for it. <laughs> I bought shitty games for more yep. without them in it. I bought Skyrim and didn't play it for two years because it didn't work on the goddamn console. But I still refuse to give EA money for Battlefront. for that fucking game. <laughs> It just it annoyed me that they called it that. But yeah, in the video with Jim Sterling, he talked about this LOL surprise thing. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck this shit is. 
But anyways, they got that and little tykes and brats on board. So like, <laughs> you're good to go. But it's good to see that like they actually have like re- um, companies willing to send toys into their thing. Because, mm-hmm. Like, you're gonna need that. You can't yeah. just sell dollar store toys. So good for them. Good for them. Um, oh, and this is weird, right? Friday the 13th, the game is coming to Nintendo Switch, which is weird because like they couldn't update the game anymore. And like it's still you can still play. It has a decent enough player base. We played it um, a few weeks ago on stream. I just I I find it weird that they're doing this, especially when they're working on the Predator game now, because because of the whole licensing thing we talked about a long time ago with uh, Friday the 13th and the guy who helped write it, blah, 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 back in the day, they can't support it anymore and make new content. So it's weird that they're putting it out on a thing. Uh, it's just weird. I, I find that really weird. I mean, if you want to increase the uh, increase the player base to get more people to play, yeah. but like it doesn't say it's cross uh, save or cross play or anything like that. And most of the people playing it got it like free through plus. Like that's how we all started playing it. Yeah. So I just it seems weird that you you'd be doing this. Like at this point, if I were them, like you're probably not going to sell a lot. Just make it cross play and make it free to play because mm-hmm. like there's no you can't just put all the skins out that you'd have to buy or, that are in there already and go with that i just i found that weird i i was excited for a second and then it like it don't like the hell's the kind of the point of this mm-hmm. didn't really make much sense to me especially charging for it yeah. at this point like you're we're working on thing predator which we saw which you all you can update and add more predators to which fucking, man i could not wait to play that game fucking because like you're gonna have rules and like you actually have a goal where the predator's trying to stop you you're just not trying to escape mm-hmm. that's kind of cool you yeah. don't see that a lot but yeah this is just just kind of weird i just I, when i saw that i was like wait a minute yeah they can't add new uh, it's, it's weird Weird, weird, weird. I think that's kind of it. Yeah, no, this is important. Yeah, just random shit. It's kind of what this week was. Random shit I wanted to talk about. <laughs> it's gonna happen from time to time, people. Not uh, not every week is E3. Oh, someone is going to Comic Con and it's Top Gun. And maybe Marvel. Anyways. Spend your podcast for this week. Thank you for joining us. We will be back next week. If there's news, I will be back. There'll be stuff. There's always stuff we can rant about. Oh, we talked 20 minutes about Batman and we hate that movie. So anyways, be sure to comment, like, follow, subscribe, please. And thank you. You guys are doing wonderful. Audio podcast. The audio version of this is doing fantastic. Every week you guys come in. I don't know who you are. Let us know. Do you like it? Um, if you watch this on iTunes, we're we're working on updating the, the art. You may not know this. We have new art. We've had a new uh, logo for like a year <laughs> now, but we we can't we we're dumb and we can't figure out how to change things. <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye.